So here we are today uh, with Frida Kaplan from Frida's Finest Prose and Maria Alfano from Maria's Italian Kitchen. These two icons in the food industry will be preparing uh, a, a specialty of ours, which is Italian uh, stuffed artichokes. But there's something very special about these artichokes. These are just not any old artichokes. They are locally grown in California. Yes, artichokes are grown in California. But these are grown in Lone Park by a, a, a small uh, a farmer who loves artichokes. His love and passion for artichokes created this uh, amazing looking artichoke. It's purple. It matches, matches Frida's. That's the gorgeous purple and green. <laughs> and this is a sangria. Sangria artichoke. It's very big. This is a huge artichoke. This is enough to feed a family of ten uh, when we get stuff. And then this is a beautiful artichoke, and the name again is Fiore Viola. Fiore Viola, which is a, a violet flower. Yes. Is what flower I would of the violet. Flower, and it's it's gorgeous. And this is a little smaller. This is. This is more, uh, this is a little easier to make as an appetizer size um, artichoke. We're going to be stuffing both of these. So we're both going to, we're going to stuff them and uh, there's a procedure that you need to go through and my mother Maria will be going through that, uh, that process. And the recipe will be printed and you'll be able to get that. But here we are and we're going to start. So we'll just start. And my role is to eat the finished product. She right. to taste it. Um, another tidbit of information is here, here we have these beautiful little uh, miniature artichokes. They're called Fiesole artichokes. And there's a, lot of, a couple of variations of, of recipes we're going to do with these. Um, as you can see, there's a big size. So you get to choose what you would like to use. We may be stuffing this one, cutting it in half and stuffing it. This we might peel and fry, uh, make something called artichips with the uh, toss and Parmesan cheese, which are really delis delicious because they're crispy and very nutritious. Well, I do do and so, uh, yes. or you crush them and you make yes. it look like a flower and you fry and that. Aren't the artichips something that you and your restaurant developed? Yes, thank you for you for that. I, 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 I out of necessity, I was uh, <laughs> presenting <laughs> to wow. your company. And my sister Louise, who uh, will be in the, in the scene pretty soon, she was one of our chefs. She was not available. My mother was not available and my other chef was unavailable. So I went into the kitchen and I came up with the artichip recipe and I think it was actually quite, quite, uh, it was a winner. So I'm happy about that. So, but you can show how, how this is.